using the Husqvarna T540 XP. <laughs> Just dangles there and then you can strip it. Yeah. Hello, save my face. Looking fresh. Doing some mute dismantles today of some dangerous ash trees. Fancy harness is a mute specific harness. To your back, if you fall out, it's gonna hold you up. Doesn't mean you can't climb into the tree, but we've been specifically told not to climb these, so hence why we have the mute. What's up everyone? I hope you guys are doing well. I really enjoyed messing around with the camera angles on this one. I hope you appreciate it. Make sure you stick around for this one. I have some interesting rigging and saw techniques in the middle and end of the video. Enjoy. If you ever wondering why I'm reaching out of the bucket because I've maxed out, should have really got a bigger mute because it's only 17 meters. It means you just got to reach out and uh, hang out the bucket a bit, which you shouldn't do. But in tree work, we tend to do a lot that we shouldn't do. Cut with a chainsaw just to get the bulk of it and then finish with a handsaw. It gives you a lot more security, 
there's a uh, public driveway beneath me and there's cars coming and going so I just want to make sure 100% it's not going anywhere Again, I would have done it smaller but the meat's maxed out about mute work it just allows us to climb these dangerous trees we have to die back obviously we don't really want to be climbing them if we can avoid it and um, we've done a few other aspects on this property and they've got a lot of decay um, throughout the trunk uh, the timbers become brittle and weak so it just gives us some security to be able to set up nice and safe the the mutes are getting really clever now and they've got auto stabilizers and they've got computers built in so they know when it's safe and level you just got to watch out what ground you're putting it on and if there's any drains underneath and grids anything like that it's important to get the right size mute as we're sort of finding today it can cause you to go a bit too big um, and do a few things dangerous because you're moving you can do your step cuts a lot further apart because you're not stuck in that bottom position you're not stropped into the tree so you can do your step cut bigger and then if you can't snap it off you can actually just boom up to the top and you've got way more control over the piece and you by doing the step cuts bigger obviously it's harder to snap off which means it's more secure and when you're over things uh, like fences and driveways and houses and whatever you can think of you can guarantee that that piece isn't going to snap off see that step cuts quite large but you'll see it'll snap off easy Tough situation here because I can't really reach out to strip it any smaller, so I've just got some slings. I'm gonna sort of rig it onto itself and then go down and strip it in smaller sections that I can manage. Because if I try and cut and hold this, it, it's just gonna slip through my hands, it's too heavy. Um, I want to avoid rigging off this as much as possible due to the ash dieback, but I think this piece is a, is a good sort of size where it, it shouldn't be a problem. some little nicks in the timber here this just allows the sling somewhere to sit and it's not going to slip it's kind of a skill that's carried over from crane work and, and bits of rigging and I guess that's kind of what we're trying to do here is just stopping the sling slipping off the end of the butt
just angles there and then you can strip it. The reason why I wouldn't lower it is one, the table's not, uh, the timber's not very strong and that's the only drop zone I have and the new cap's in the way. So to run lines in there it'll just be a mess so this way I can sort it on my own. Once it's light enough you can just place it off. Take the sling off. Under there. Yep! Thanks for making it this far through the video, I really appreciate it, I hope you've enjoyed the different angles and commentary. Drop a like and a comment to make sure I know that you've made it this far through, and I hope you enjoy the little tip at the end here. I've wanted to talk about step cuts for a while, so obviously here, if I just went inside to side, about too small, you'll see I reach round and do a bit of the back first and then come round and then the same applies when you're, you're on site you can climb round um, but it can save time if you just reach round get a bit of the back and you almost match up the cut from there to there and it's as simple as just cutting there you're almost doing a, an 80% 20% stop cut rather than the traditional 50 50 which you would do on the smaller cut like say there I reckon that's about 60 40 you want to do more 80 to 90 uh, depending how secure you are, you just let me the hidden and let me the cap off. I'll show you what I mean, it's more so.
Thicker diameter, you can really bring it down to, to nearly nothing. 